Hey guys, what's going on? So, this is Rayla with KBG. And Sashimi. Now, everyone is probably going over the Behemoth fight, and I'm sure you know, that's very exciting. But um, we do, around here, we, we like pets. We <laughs> like we like animals and such. Endemic life, all the way. So, we're going to go ahead and talk about uh, the new stuff that's been added, and that would be the Cactuars. Mm -hmm. So, any fan of Final Fantasy knows that Cactuars are awesome. They've been awesome forever. So, now that you've done the quests where you went and got Behemoth unlocked, how do you get the Cactuars? So, if you didn't get them during the fight, during the fight, they are actually, anytime you see them during the fight when they're leading you around for the story, you can catch them at that point if you mm -hmm. want. You can also catch them uh, in Free Realm. They have been a, made a permanent addition to the Wild Spire Wastes. Yeah, and it says Flourishing Cacti, which I think is new. Yeah, flour well, no, it, it's been there, but... So what we want for the rare one, though... Um, let's see here. You want Dawn. That's more like oh, noon at the moment, rare. but we're going to go see what we can find. But from what we've been seeing online, Dawn is when you really want to try for the flowering. So mm -hmm. we're going to head out to the wastes and see what we can find. Uh, I think Camp 6 is where we want to begin. All right, so from camp number six, the spot where the flower cutter, uh, the flower cutter has been, has been. If you come straight up here to the left, you want to come up. I should have put the net just in case. But she spawns right along here. She'll be running around here. You can't miss her. She actually runs a track Catch around here. Catch it. So we're going to go ahead and take a look around and find some other cactuar spots while we wait for Dawn to come around. And then we will get back so when we can catch her. All right, we've got one out here. Yep, he's a gold this cactuar. is right next to where Diablos comes up from the quicksand. That is a quick frickin' It looks like it runs along the same path. So far, this whole lab is looking pretty good. Yeah, they're difficult. I think he stops in that same spot. All right. Once we're back in there we go. So he stops right next to these rocks. That was the cactuar cutting. Now, if you look, there actually is a cactuar spot right here on the map that Sasha noticed. Uh, it says a creature that releases 1,000 needles when struck. It is not here currently, so I'm going to go see if I can tick off a monster and bring it over here. Because I think it's going to pop out while we have a large monster around. I think they're... Alrighty, guys. After some testing, we have found our flowering cutting. She is right there, and she's pretty quick. As you can see, the sun is still cresting over that hill, so we are at dawn. And she is in the spot in area 6, right here. And she just runs a circuit right around here. Did she just... I thought she just stopped. Okay, there we go. So it looks like it might be a little bit challenging to catch her because she's pretty quick. Oh, she stops right next to the cacti. So there we go. Flowering cactuar cutting. So there is your rare cactuar. We're going to check her out in the house. We're still trying to figure out the big guys. We think they're just like traps because it looks like on the map they have an icon. And, of course, Basil's going to sit here. He might be able to help us out, though. So, these guys actually have an icon on the map just like a trap, like the rocks and everything that fills up when you use it. And it is full for this one. Oh, wow, he caught up fast. Like He was instantly behind me. But we have not seen them yet, so we will get back to you. 
Alright, so as long as it is dawn, what you'll want to do is go to, if your flowering cactuar does not show up, go to camp 1 via the bird, and then immediately go back to camp 6. This will force the respawns. So if you didn't get it, as soon as, as, soon as dawn rolls around, just go ahead and do this. It's actually kind of convenient because if you look, as soon as you come up here, if you go to the right, you can kind of peek down this hill to see if there's one there. That large one spawns down there. Mm -hmm. You can come back this way. And the flowering cutting is, this is her spot. I doubt she's gonna spawn for me twice in a row. But then you can easily just run straight on through here and right up into the primary point of the desert. Oh, you see? There he is, Whoa. right there. So you can use him as a trap. You can hit him for 1,000 needles. And you can also trap him. So until you've got enough of these guys for your house, I'd recommend... Uh, going in and trapping them then after that you should be able to use them as traps uh, I've heard they actually do really excellent damage I think they actually do a full thousand damage if they Ooh. hit the monster so that's that's quite good and I, yeah. I hear people have been using it in the behemoth fight well all right let's go on and get back to the house and take a look all right we're back at the crib let's go ahead and place those pets Let's see where they can go. So, cactuars can go in the foyer. That's the regular one. There's the cutting. <laughs> Wild. Man, he's all over the place. And there's flower. Oh. She's got go like fast. a little Yeah, she's got a little shadow around her. Friggin' Sonic the Hedgehog. Let's go ahead and put Big Boy there. Let's see where else we can put them can put them in the hearth. You see a big guy there? He's dancing. <laughs> All right, we'll go ahead and leave this dude there. How about the pot? Nope. Uh. Entryway? Nope. Garden, of course. Yo. Oh, I kind of like him in the garden. Look how she's <laughs> tearing everything up. <laughs> More, more graphic effects. So. Mm. Yeah, when she hits the water, dang. Yum. All right, let's take a look at the other garden. So destructive. I know, they're just tearing everything. <laughs> <laughs> Have you no respect for your plant brethren? We'll put big guy there. <laughs> oh, he runs circles around him. That's pretty oh, that's cool. That's great. Tree, nothing. It'd be kind of weird if they could show up in the sky. Yeah, what would they do? Wait, is my. Hmm? No, I gotta put my grandfather. There you go. If you're interested in that big guy, we do have a video on him, by the way. All right, so we're going to go ahead and throw her in, I guess we'll throw her in the front. The cactus on your carpet. And there she goes. Mew. So, let's take a look. Do you think they come to you? If you I don't know. Let's find out. What do they eat? Do they just photosynthesize or what? Whoa, big guy oh. does come to you. Look, he, look at he does a little dance and boost. Huh. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Okay. That. Okay, he's real still until you you feed him, <laughs> and then he just decides he's gonna destroy the house and flips. It's murder time. I know that was crazy. <laughs> I'm I'm afraid he's gonna. Yeah, that Here was we go. Unexpected. Maybe the little one will come over. There's the little one's Yay. animation. He just comes over and does a little spin. Mm. Let's hop out in the garden and see what goes on down out here. Oh, jeez. Oh, he's going like to kill us. Movie. 
Look at all the little scratches on him. Oh, look, he's mm. petting him. <laughs> Do you want to pet that, though? I don't think so. He's being nice, though. He's not powering up. He's just dancing. Oh. Oh, there he goes. There we go. Uh-oh. Yep. Everybody's dead. And then he just goes back like it's nothing. Nothing happened. Let's go over here to the small side. The small ones are gentle. I'm going to put the, the flowering one here in a second <laughs> so we can see her, her animation if it's the same thing. Maybe and he just like, stops, spins, and done. All right, she's going to tear it up even worse. Let's scoot the flowering one there. Throw a hair there. I don't care what's out there. And the garden. Which garden? Yeah, this is the one. At least here we can kind of trap her to make sure we get her animation. Mm hmm Looks like outside of the flower and a little extra speed, she's identical to the other one. Mm -hmm. Well, all right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. This is uh, this has just been our look at the cactus, how to grab them all. So remember, as soon as the sun comes up, get out there and get yourself a cactus. Uh, yep. Like we said, teleport from area one to area six, and she should show up eventually. She showed up for the first time for me for once. My RNG was good. Now we got to get one for Sash. Yeah, my RNG was bad. Well, hope this helped out, guys. As far as the other cactus, like we said, watch their icon on the map. It does take a while to fill up, but once it does, you've got a chance of finding them. So just go there, keep teleporting until they show up. Mm -hmm. You can go and catch them, or later on, use them to help you out with monsters. All right, well, if you're new to the channel, uh, welcome. And uh, we, as far as likes and subs, that's up to you. Uh, what we do always ask around here is that you consider adopting or rescuing aspca.org or petfinder.com uh, you can also google local animal rescue and adoption and if you can't bring one home due to allergies living conditions you know all sorts of reasons then there are other ways you can show your love aren't there you can still go and volunteer and hang out with them or you can donate money old clothes blankets those things they can use all that Yep, so if you've got love to give, there's plenty of ways to give it and plenty of animals out there who could use that love. And I'm sure they would be just as excited as this little cactus running all over the place. Or Sabotender, if you prefer that. <laughs> so, if you guys need any help or have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. And we appreciate you watching. And speaking of love, we love you guys, and we'll see you next time. This is Rayello. And Sashimi. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.